What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be making a video that is absolutely insane for me to think about and that is what I have learned from making $200,000 in revenue at 17 years old. Let's get into the video. Okay, so this isn't gonna be like any of my other videos. This isn't a drop shipping tutorial or anything like that. I have dozens of those on my channel that you can feel free to check out. If that's what you're looking for. Today, this is just gonna be an authentic, kind of off the head video that talks about what it's actually like um, to have made a whole lot of money at a young age and really what I've learned from the experience. So like I said, I made over $200,000 in revenue and that's just on my main store. Um, the vast majority of that has come in the past like eight months or so, but I really started making money like officially about a year and a half ago. So the biggest thing really that I've learned uh, with making a lot of money is just how insignificant it really is. And I know that sounds kind of douchey and like it makes me sound ungrateful, but it's the complete opposite. I mean, I used to obsess about the money when I didn't make any. And now when I am, it's just like, you know, it's whatever. I don't really think about it. When you're starting out, you think um, if I only make like $100, you know, that'd be awesome. Like it'd be amazing, you know, I'd be successful. And then you hit that $100 and you're like, wow, you know, that wasn't that great. I can't go buy a Lambo, you know, it's, it's not that cool. So you aim for $500 and then you hit that 500 and it's just, you know, it's not what you expected. And you just kind of have to keep progressing and progressing and um, overall just not staying complacent and you always have to keep reaching for that next level whether that's in revenue or just whatever you're aiming for in life it doesn't matter if it's sports or if it's business or whatever i kind of went through a slump i guess it was like right when school started so it was like september and october and that was when i kind of just like i was okay with the amount of money that i was making and um, that was probably about like 25 grand revenue at that point a month. And um, what happened was since I was okay with 25 grand, I started making like 20 grand or 15 grand a month. And that really just like, it, it switched something on in my head. And I was like, wow, like I cannot get complacent. Like you always have to keep reaching for that next level. And that's something that I really want to push in this video because it may say two hundred thousand dollars in the title and that may sound like a lot of money but to me that doesn't sound like a lot of money like i want to hit five hundred thousand this year and that's on one store like you really have to keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing if you really want to like keep progressing and uh reach the goals that you want to reach so drop shipping is a very front end loaded business what that means is that you're gonna work a ton when you're first getting your store set up and you're getting your advertisements going and you're really just figuring everything out. And then once you do, it's just kind of gonna downgrade, like if that makes any sense. Like you're gonna be working less and less every day in your store. For me personally, I probably work like maybe an hour tops on my store, probably not even that. And that's just like, managing Facebook ads and setting up influencer ads and um, occasionally doing customer service. I have a VA that does a lot of stuff for me and that really helps and um, that's a big thing that you're gonna wanna start doing once you start making money because time really becomes a lot more important. You wanna outsource as much stuff as you can so you can focus your time on building other streams of income. Another thing that I've noticed is the more money you make, the more pressure that you're gonna have on your life. I say pressure and not stress for a reason. Pressure just means that you're gonna have more to balance in your life and you're gonna have higher stakes. Having more pressure on your life doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna have more stress on your life, but it means you're gonna have to manage that pressure or it's going to turn to stress. I've started working out a lot more, eating healthier, and doing other things 
that can benefit me from reducing stress. One thing that's really helped me manage stress is organization. I was never an organized person before I started entrepreneurship, but I can tell really how beneficial it's been for me since I started getting organized. And I really recommend that you organize your life for the get-go as soon as you start your first business because it's really, really hard to get organized once you're already going. I organize everything from my income, you know, my taxes, my Shopify stores, my social media marketing agency, my daily schedule, my funnels, just everything is written out and it really, really helps me. I found that the more I get organized, the more spreadsheets I open, the more notes, the more reminders, you know, it actually really, really benefits me because instead of having all these things that are just, you know, jumbling in my head, things that I need to do, things that I need to do, you know, next week, it's all written out for me so I don't have to think about it and I don't have to remember, hey, what was that thing I needed to do? No, I can just look at my whiteboard and it's all there. Another thing that I've learned from making all this money is patience because if I didn't have the patience to keep going when I first started and failed for months and months and months, then I wouldn't be where I am right now. I think entrepreneurs these days, especially beginner entrepreneurs, are just so jaded by, you know, YouTube and Instagram and all these gurus that are making money within like, you know, a week or two, even though they're probably not making money or they just got lucky. but. People think that it's so easy and you're not gonna fail and that's just not true. I mean, I've seen people on Facebook groups that are like, hey, I've spent 20 bucks on ads with no results, should I quit? Like, it just blows my mind, but I know I was there at one point. A big part of entrepreneurship is knowing when to quit and knowing when to keep going. And part of that is just knowing when to change yourself. Like for me, um, I changed my main store like from three different niches. I changed the domain name. I changed everything. And um, that's really how I found my perfect niche. And that's really how I was able to scale and grow to the $200,000 that I'm at now. And that's how I continue to scale and grow and I'll hopefully hit way more this year. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it didn't come across as me just rambling, but let me know if you like me just making these videos off the top of my head or if you even noticed a difference. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one.